been a very long day. Everyone's getting pretty tired. Yeah, the venue's kind of died down a bit. There's only a couple people. Like, there's newer off in the back playing friendlies with Stutterfoot. But other than that, like, it's pretty much just the stream setup right now. So I'm not sure which stages they're looking for. Yeah. I don't know if Victor likes to live long or if he likes to kill early. But they go to FRD, which is pretty much battlefield, but with a higher Gotta, ceiling. Yeah, just a higher ceiling. And of course, like the changes with the platforms. Yeah. Now, uh, DD can certainly deal with that uh, capitalized because he can uh, just scoop people up with that uh, down air, like just right there. Oh, yeah. It's very useful going three top ones. Yeah. But Ron's gonna have a very easy time comboing him. Yeah, DD is such big a big body. Just, ooh, Almost gets the skull. Gordo. Yeah. Show the Gordo. Okay, nice one. Nope. Ron oh, recovers high. Very smart. Mm. I feel like DDD is gonna have a very difficult time with this matchup considering just how uh, oh, Meta Knight works. Oof. Two what Gordos a strategy! <laughs> Gordos are the new meta. Victor is very good at manipulating RNG. Yeah. Now, as I was saying, uh, matchup wise, uh, I think uh, Meta Knight definitely has the advantage as long as he can just keep up in uh, DDD's space. I would say 6 4. Yeah. Now DVD definitely has like a lot of options for like dealing with close range stuff. Like, say if he wants to go for like a forward tilt, he can of course do that, but he can also follow up with something like Jet Hammer because that move just comes out so fast and it could definitely catch up in an off guard. But a bit of an upset right there as I believe, uh um, his jet hammer goes faster than his jab. Does oh yeah, help? it does. Oh, crutch cancel. EDD's crutch cancel is so funny, because he just lays back so relaxed. I know, just like that line attack. <laughs> Oop. DD just bringing out that leisurely destruction. Alright. Nice use of the forward tilt right there. Okay, okay. See if you can back punish that. Yeah, nice, nice backer. See about that stock. Crusader hmm. is definitely getting caught out a lot by uh, Victor's downers and stuff like that. I wonder if Ron knows. Probably. He might be choking a little bit as well. <laughs> I feel like he should be getting a lot more uh, mileage off of those combos, but it doesn't really seem to be working out too much. Also, DDD is very difficult to kill. Okay, nice aerial box head. Wisely decides to shield there, anticipating the dare. Sends Victor off stage. Oh, that's how it Okay. He's getting these Ooh. really interesting conversions into trouble. Yeah. Fairly even at this stage. All uh, Crusader really needs is like one decent combo, and he can just uh, even this uh, match up. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. okay. Nixon was the end of that uh, fair. Oh no. Got to reverse fair. Yeah. All right. I feel like Victor in this matchup should be using the super armor one, like his dash attack. Yeah. Although it is very punishable, but at the same time, I don't feel like Meta Knight has a strong enough answer to deal with it. Like, even if that uh, dash attack does whiff, like, most you can go for is like, oh. uh, it's like an F smash, but... That was a choke slam. Yeah, it was. So, game one goes to Victra. If I were Victor right now, I think I'd go for a ban, say like uh, Green Hill Zone. Considering just how much I've seen uh, Ron play it so far today, I think it'd be a wise decision. It's kind of like a smaller version of FD. 
Yeah, also that platform does come into play a bit. Like when I saw him playing against uh, T-Block earlier, uh, the Green Hill Zone definitely did work because it, uh, at least it gave him some room to breathe to avoid those uh, oh, yeah. PK Ices. Just the T-Block in the chat right now. Yeah. Not sure what they're doing right now. Mm. Oh, it's nice one. Oh. Okay. This is a reasonable pick, I'd say. This is a, a pretty good pick because uh, Victor can recover on top of that platform, so that gives him like an extra option of recovery. Nice and mix nice up. Order, though. Yeah. Like, he got some pretty good conversions with uh, those waddle dashes. Yo, if we have any booster subs, I want to see some RNG gods right now in the chat. Guys, Victor's just pulling out all the spikes. Hmm, bit of a questionable recovery right there. I feel like Crusader could have capitalized a bit more. Yeah. But, but he doesn't he just back, waits yeah. for him to get back up, but rolls towards Victra. Kind of a bit of an interesting thing to do considering just how good DDD's grab game is. You typically want to stay away from him, so I think that might have uh, caught Victra off guard. <laughs> DDD's face there, when he got no of those prices. Ooh, that's close, okay. Ah, oh, nice combo. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna hand the mic off to Corrado and Limey right now, so... Yeah, see you guys later. Yeah, I think I might just roll out after this, so... Anyways, here. Ah, oh, here's Corrado. Alright. Thank you. Keep up, man. I'm gonna hold it real close to my face. Thank you, thank you. I had fun. No, you really stepped your game up too, actually. I want to see Mike Wong watching. That's pretty hype. Hi, friends. Hey, folks. Welcome aboard to the Losers Finals. We have Victor versus Crusader. We already... Wait, Victor's already won up? Yeah, Victor won the first game. I think Ron actually beat what's your first. I missed that. Okay, then. Okay. I missed that. We were taking photos. We were busy modeling. So. Yeah, yeah. Right, like, look at that. Bronze medal status there. Along with silver. All right, and so, yeah. All right, so what Ron says a lot about MK in general. He says that MK is very susceptible to like crush dancing. And like he's really, really like upset about it. He thinks that you can be MK by just like sitting in crush cancel. Which, which is obviously is not the truth, but like it's true to some degree. It's a really strong option against him. Because all of his all of his aerials are like really, really weak hits. So he has trouble with it for sure. Yeah, well see the thing is as well too, like you know, being a lighter character, it's so much easier to pop MK up, like for a lot of like, you know, like amount of like, combo potential because of how light he is. So Charles Gantling against him is also very subset for that, I've noticed. But uh, we can see here that Crusader is trying to play a little bit more careful. Nope, now he's going in. But the problem is he can't let Victra have any chance to set up. Because if we have a setup here, we've just got... Oh. We, we got Waddle Dee's everywhere. Oh! That was a really scary edge guard set up by oh. Victor. Oh! But Ron went high and Victor didn't see that coming. M tilt directly in. Oh, and the corner was so close! MK is way yeah. too short. Too short for DDD. That was so scary. He's gonna oh. on the He's going to try to go for yes. it there. Oh, that was yeah. not quite the best decision that he's going to make there. But Ron now. Ooh! Ron across the stage! Okay, now what Crusader needs to do here, he's got to actually keep the momentum going. As much damage as he can, or even take the stock if he keeps this momentum going there. Oh, nope. And it's hammered right through there, and now Victor is going to take that stock. Um, oh. So the edge guarding with this game, country to brawl. Oh no! Wait, oh, oh. No. Is this an edge guard? No. No. Okay, well, well I was gonna say, country to brawl. Ground K has a really, really strong recovery. I think that he's really he moves slowly to the right, so you have lots of time to come up. His tornado doesn't even have the same. Tornado. When you compare, he have any way to like kind of sweep up the I mean, side B, but you can't even use it in the same way. Well, no, it's well, just, like it's like sideways, and like it's pretty susceptible. Well, see, the thing is, when you compare Brawl MK yeah, to PM MK, <laughs> there, he's like, I don't think his recovery is yeah. right. That could. No! Okay, well, oh, in no. contrast to the other characters in the past two, right? Oh, I think definitely. MK's recovery, like, he has multiple jumps. He's got, like, a jiggy pass battle. Oh, and just enough to get the kill there. Okay, it's not Crusader, it's not for the healthy yeah. 35%. If he doesn't let Victor get a momentum shift here, he could actually keep this. Poking yeah. along. Ooh. He's, he's, he's sitting on that platform. Now, what I noticed. Ryan's got a decent move here. This is Ron's kind of to cut away. Yeah. That's a good counter pick. Um. 
There's not, there's another, another flat zone there, yeah. Uh, there's also room. Uh, the platform is also really good for Mon because he can sit up there and kind of zone him out with the downer, like threatening with the downer. Oh, yeah. So the platform really works out for him. And if he's recovering and you need to jump in the ledge, mm -hmm. you kind of retreat with like a down B or just like anything really. Exactly. Just, like, take the platform, get all these jumpbacks. Yeah, no out. doubt about that. Really, really good punishment for Ronald. Okay. Or, we'll, we'll, look, we'll, we'll, we'll look. We'll look. Hey, you know, let's say both. You know what? Yeah. This is Ron and this yeah, is Victor. Yeah, I, I appreciate his sense. I wish you could just like use their names. Yeah. Like, has the smash boards like anonymous air. We can just like call each other by his name. Like, yeah, you think Jamie that'd be oh Alright, so Ron takes it with a nice two stock, so it's one one. One one across the board here now. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to God. Okay. This mouse is so gentle. Oh here. Oh no, 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 here, I will try to is it, is it this I don't know. Oh, the, no! Uh, I did something! Oh, oh, you did the thing? <laughs> Jamie, did you do the thing? Dude, I suck! No, all you did was just, like, you know, turn off the stream there. It's okay. Okay, now we're back to game two. We're gonna update this very shortly for you folks. Um... Yeah, oh, so pressing the one. Yo, okay. Oh, it's over here, Jamie. Yo! Eh. I don't know what the heck. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. All right, so we're back to the match. Uh, <laughs> Victor kind of picks Battle Sphere. Right? And hammers out a Waddle D. Yeah. Up two Waddle Ds. This had the DI. I thought oh, I'm just going to Oh, that's a really good move, move on DB's part there. Like, you know, down air pressure, directly into a grab. If you, oh, oh the reversal. Really He's got to glide in to save oh, himself. Glide. Well, that's a really good option. It's, wow. it's still fantastic. That has not changed since yeah, Brawl. Ron doesn't really bring that out that often. He really does not. Um, a really good option. Starting to see a little more there. You know, where it's not, it's like a really vulnerable recovery, but it's so mobile. You, you have a mix up there, actually. You, you, you can, for the diversity there. Oh, it looks, like, it looks like our camera actually went down, actually, on the competitors, but. Oh, we've had that jump for a while. Oh, really? I think so. Because before we had, like, a draw mix up. Okay. 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 DDD okay. with the forward sport hammer air there. Now he's going to be camping the ledge. He's either going to do one of two things. He's either going to build momentum and try to go for another stock, or he's going to try to hold on to it. And oh, and or break a recovery there. He's going to take his time. He and he, because DDD is so fat, he's going to hold on to that stock. He's got to build something before he loses it. Good chance that Crusader is going to actually get that one back at Ron, as it were. <laughs> They'll come up with this theory about players when they are behind. I think there's two Yeah. That's more the aggressive side. He wants to take risks. He wants to bring it back. You know what? I'm totally guilty of that myself here. Yeah. And now that being said, though, We've seen it pay off for him as well. And Meta Knight is the kind of character that can play that aggressive card and actually keep the ball rolling. For sure, for sure. I'm going to get my water bottle back with Go right on ahead. Okay. Solo commentary with Kudato here, or Brandon, as it were. So, uh, that was Jamie Hensel, otherwise Limey. Now we are back to the match here. We have a 54 to 85% deficit here between Crusader and Victra. Now, going to dash him back and forth there. He's got to build that up there. Oh, and he just eats into the shield there. That's a problem. He's got to be careful about going into Victor's shield because he's got a really nice shield off in there. And he can just punish if he goes there. Oh, a down air. Ooh, nice build, damage build there. DD is far from... Yo! As I, as I am just about to say, he is not at kill percent. He gets stage spike. That is Shades of Brawl. Oh, he's chain grabbing. He's getting the one. He's poking along here. Okay, he's poking. He's poking him along here. And now we have. What are we gonna make of it here? Nope. Swings back with the hammer. Sucks him up. Does not. Well, it's very vulnerable too, right? Oh, he's got to be careful now. He's lost his jumps. And oh, narrowly gets it back. Victor, I don't know how much longer he can hold on. Oh, and he just slides along with the glide toss ability. Aerial glide toss utilizes that extremely well. He's flying along there, trying to play it safe there. He's 
It went away when Dingo put some things and complained about the mouse keyboard. That was like really recently. Oh! Did we lose it? I was it? No, I think it did. It's, it's like it's still streaming and like we're literally on the channel. So. Yeah, I know we are, but the camera, there was the top right part there. But we actually had like, you know, the, the guy supported too. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. I don't, I don't think Alright, we can take a look at that in a moment here, folks. But oh, chain grab him along. Alright, so the, he's got to change his DI. Men and I confirm. Men and I confirm chain grab. No, ooh, it's and just barely survives. Yeah. I tried two options there. Could have DI down after the fact. You could have yes. DI off the front of the mix up with his drifting. But he just decided to not DI. He just like, he kept his out there. Yeah. So it's one stock. Oh my god. Yo, this is a nice option for damage. He doesn't pick up the platform. That was huge. He's got massive stage control. Run. Run does not need to go on stage. He just needs to... Yeah, okay. That was greedy going for the there. He should have just speculated. Okay, that's a decent option. Oh, that Nair is a big truck dude. He's going to stay through that one. Oh, yeah. So right now, we're actually... Oh, my God. Oh, that, that there, actually. That was a good, that was a good escape option was there to at least get down. Game oh, is tied. And another Gordo. Victor, Mr. Luck, and Crusader is going to take game no, no, three. three. All right, so it's best of five sets. So Ron has one more to win, and Victor has two. It's going to be Victor's counter pick for now. So... If it goes to game five, Ron's gonna have the upper hand because he's gonna have the final counter fish. Which in a matchup like this, I think is actually really important. Yes. Because looking at the stages, there's stages that are really, really heavy in favor towards each character. MK favors a more more room to move, right? MK's dash is so fast. And then he favors on his Going back to Battlefield, and we're going to switch this very quickly here. It is, the score is, absolutely. How do I edit this? Oh, there we are. Okay. Two, and okay. Right, so Victor is going to have favorite stages for his edge so Exactly. Small, small stages. Yeah. And he's really inconsistent about whether he likes small or large blast zones. He likes large blast zones to be used forever. He likes small blast zones to be used forever. And it seems like he doesn't really know which one he prefers. So I guess it's a massive dependence. Yeah. Something like this, he probably wants smaller blast zones. Yep. But that. Yeah, no. I actually think, you know, that to be honest, this might not quite work in Victor's favor. Main reason main reason being is that Meta Knight has the platform pressure. He is the one that with the multiple with the multiple jumps and quick weaving that can actually take him off keep him off like that. And then again, just like this, just like this. He has that platform pressure. Oh, and he still converts. You gotta be careful about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, DD was getting too low, so, you know, slam him down. Yeah. Right now, Crusader is taking a... Uh, with a 40 with a back air, oh, now we have a 2-4 to so four stock deficit there. If Crusader decides to play it safe, but he's going to go aggro in, it seems like there. I don't know if that's going to pay off or not, but he's going right. to... So now we're going to see, with my theory that I said before, now we're going to see what type of player Victor is. Now exactly. That decides to make this to make up for the being behind, or if he wants to play conservative and try and wear him out. Yeah. I think he's gonna wait for his opportunities and then try and capitalize on that. This is a good game plan. Wow! <laughs> snipe by Waddle Do, ladies and gentlemen. That was a Waddle Do oh, snipe. Ron is doing a really, really good job on the other side. He's reading whenever Victor wants to retreat to the ledge. And he's getting with a nice little layer, covering that space. Really, really good play from Ron on the edge. Oh, it is fantastic. Oh. Ron being crusade. Yes. Okay. Oh. That's a really, really good wall of the approach. Ooh, he was yeah. Stuck in shield there. He, really he was. I can see that. Oh, trying to go. He's trying to get in there. Waddle Dee still in the field there. Replace that Waddle Dee. I'm not sure if Ron knows like how much Waddle Dee is. Do Waddle Dee do the attack? The, the Waddle Dees do the jump, yes. Whereas Waddle Dees are your electrifiers. And then. Yes. Go, yeah, no, Waddle Dee does the electricity there. That is a lock stun. Yeah. Now, right now, actually, Victor is looking in a pretty rough shape here. 
He's running on two hours of sleep, apparently, but that hopefully that doesn't att attest too much here. Oh, 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 oh! That could have been something very tragic. It ended up tragic either way there, but at least he did not get gordo But right now, Crusader's still in a comfortable spot here, very comfortable here. He has to take his time here. Is he going to play aggressive and get that stock? He needs to, he needs to get do something with Meta Knight. Yeah, no, and he no, does. Remember I say that that wasn't a big lead for Diddy? Because Diddy is a type of character who can get stage control and get one big combo. Yes. But with MK, MK has the option to run around that and get back to the stage and then consistent. See, that's the... Like, kind of run around. Yeah, like, exactly. So, this is actually a decent move for him. Oh, but you know what? Just like that, any time there, could be a lot of things that DDD can do right now that'll actually take him out right now. I'll answer your question after this, that Michael. Um, Michael Walker. Oh, that was a really, really big move on the get-up. Was one of these really, really good DDD a lot of options. It's really, really good. Yeah, I thought he doesn't really have the mobility that he needs. But also, this really cool. Good luck. Wow, Victor really needs to switch up his DI. I'm not sure if this DI balance is the best position. I'm not really good at touch chasing. So I'm not sure if that's the best position. This one's really, really comfortable with that. Because I always DI down, I get bodied by Ron's down for Yeah, Ron is, Ron is the type of player that he's kind of a perfectionist in the way that he expects everyone to perform just to like the opposite of Luke. Luke, Luke is really free to mess up and do something stupid. So because he's a perfectionist, he's not really watching for the change options, like missing your tech and then doing a weird get up attack. Yeah. Hello, hello. Fight for a second. Can you guys hear me? Am I can you guys louder? hear me better now? We just switched mics. So, can you hear me? All right. Anyways, I'm gonna answer Michael's comment right now. Super quiet on you guys. Okay, I think the problem is, is that the game audio is too loud. Because I remember when I was listening to it, the game audio was really, 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 really overpowering. Ah, I see. Okay. Anyways, Michael, uh, game one, I bopped Victor decent. Kind of picked me to dream on. I didn't ban it. I was tunnel visioning on the small stages. I didn't want to let him have too much control on the ledge. Which is a dumb, like, dumb choice. Because I have needles. I have oh, ways to deal with him on the ledge. Now. Okay, something's wrong with his mic. Oh really? Yeah. That mic's just yo. pretty fraudulent. So we're just gonna have some bro set. Okay. Yo man, get in there. <laughs> okay. So yeah, okay, now he's just keeping the pressure on. Yeah, nice game five. So Ron has the kind of big advantage. Kind of big advantage here. But right now, Dreamland, how's it gonna work there? DD survived, but so does Meta Knight. Now he's beating the pressure on there with forward air. Forward air. Gordo out of nowhere, flying off into the abyss. But now we have another Trying to go high. Okay. It really good, nice and rapid there. Now, Didi could try to make something happen there. Right now, they're not at kill percent either one, but it's getting there. It could be a gimp situation there, or it can be a oh, and now he's snapped down. Nair, Nair gets him right in there. Kind of weird how when people are in shield and they get knocked off the ledge, they're not putting the elbows. I think mainly I'm pretty sure it's not the elbows. Yes. Actually, I thought it was going to go through. Hey, do you know what I mean? Okay. Good one? I don't know. Uh, well, that's very delayed. Which one were you just holding between us? That one? Okay, that's probably the good one. Let's switch. Here we go. All right, so if you guys can hear Brandon, Brandon's voice should be louder than mine. I'm pretty sick. Eh, it's all good. We're gonna keep it going here. Okay, now we're now we're down to a yeah. three-stock deficit game. This here is again. a really really tight game. This Ooh, very good to see here. Yeah. Where awesome. this goes to face Killock, aka Jack, aka Jack Sama, aka 
The White <laughs> Bear. Edmonton Hero. Edmonton Hero, aka yeah. White Bear. Yeah. Now this tournament has some really, really close matches. Everything I've seen is like, it's not like a final game. Pretty consistently, yeah, actually. It's been a lot of good games there. Yeah, you, on, you, good sir, were on fire, good sir. Yeah, Losers was quite the run. I almost beat Jack too, like, oh, good. it was insane. No, I'd I, I, I have to beat Victor and Ron next time. Oh, you lost to Victor? Oh, yeah, no, I, well, he, I beat him last time. He beats me this time here. It goes back and forth, so. That's good. It's always good to have rivalry, rivalries like that. It's fun. Yeah. Anyway, so. Back to the match. Ron no. has a lead, question mark. Yep. Um, now. He's going to be looking for a nair. Yes. Get the kill. Oh, oh that was wow. Good. Okay, good reaction from Ron. Yes. He tried to grab the ledge, and then he noticed that he didn't have it. But he knew that Victor would sit on there trying to get some cheesy edge guard or something. Ron is currently on order 66 right now. And he's going to make order 66 oh. now. And order 66 is over the mm, Jedi. Survive. Yeah, Ron's clocking in, dude. This is some Big Mac combo stuff. This is, some Big Mac this is beautiful. Yo, if I, I want to see pillars. Oh, I want to see Mennonite pillars. He'll make it happen. I like Ron's down B usage, stalling. Oh, oh yeah. Just like trying to... Oh, again, too short. Okay, having a small hitbox in this game is actually really, really... Huge. It is really beneficial there. There's lots of characters that have weird hitboxes that don't really reach very low. So exactly. having a small hitbox is like... Or small, small hitbox, sorry. It's yeah. actually very undervalued. I think it's really important. Like Kirby, man. When Kirby crouches, like, it's so hard to hit him with anything. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Very good. Um, as it stands right now... Ooh, oh my Ooh, god. I can't believe that dash second attack, dash, attack. dash attack. down smash. Oh, caught. Yeah, he uses the invincible in there. That was really good play. Trades with the up beat. Totally, totally good. Three stock to one. Run sitting really, really comfortable. Three very, very one comfortable now. lead. Run has lots of room to kind of mess up. That's the problem, though. Like, you know, we saw this quick last match. Ron was in the lead, and then Victor brought it back. So we've seen it happen before. Has so. Victor really pulled up any games this set? Luke okay, is done. Yes, I eliminated him. Yeah, Luke uh, got seven, dude. Luke got Bob. <laughs> Luke's in stream chat. Yo, Luke, did you get my Snapchat? If you haven't looked at my Snapchat yet, can you screenshot it? Because Brandon wanted a picture of it, but I forgot to save it. That's all good. So screenshot that shit if you haven't looked at it yet. I would love that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, back to the match. So Ron, Ron has stage control. He's got a comfortable lead. It's looking pretty... Yeah. Ron's looking real pretty right now. Yeah, absolutely there. So he's at 69. Can he make something happen here? Uh, in the house of God. Yeah. Can he make something happen at 69 Please. in the house of God. Oh, okay, yeah. Dude, I, I can't... Yeah, okay. And that's... Game five. That's Loser's finals. That was it. So we have Ron advancing on the grand finals. Good Reverse stuff, Ron! That was fantastic work. Wow, good set. That was a really good set, actually. Game five, last match.